guys, it's Carry On Scuba here, and today is the What's in My Pack video. First, what I'd like to go ahead and start off with is what I'm wearing. Right here, I have a pair of running shoes. They're Nike Free 5.0, really lightweight. Um, I have a pair of, they're like synthetic board shorts. They're kind of neat, but they look like regular shorts, um, and they work out really well. Then I have a belt right here, which doubles as a money belt, which is really sweet. You can go ahead and unzip this zipper, stash some cash inside of there. I highly recommend the money belt if you guys don't have one already. You can pick some up at Costco. Um, a pair of board shorts. They double as underwear. Work out really great. Um, I have a nice collared shirt here. I have my passport and my passport holder, which can be worn around your neck like so. I have a hat, and then I have a surf watch here. It shows me the tide. We have my long blade free diving fins right here. These things are quite bulky. Um, I may end up eventually selling these, but for the time being, I do have them. So next we have our Aries Jetpack semi-dry slash dry bag, 42 liter bag. And then right here we have our Aries Jetpack BCD slash backpack. How to see what's actually inside my pack. So if we go ahead and we open up my pack here, we have one pair of flip-flops, we have one tank top right here, we have a dive mask here inside of its box, which is a Aqualung Technica micro mask, really lightweight, great for free diving is why I have it, so I'll put that up here. We have one collapsible backpack, it's great for a uh, day bag and light hiking trips I use it for. I have an orange um, scuba diving emergency tube that you use to signal the boat. I have some miscellaneous camera gear. This one happens right here to be the GoPro head strap. I have the GoBuddy extendable GoPro pole. This thing is really lightweight, really small. Haven't gotten a chance to use it yet, but I think it'll work out really well. I then have right here, this is a pair of compression shorts. If you guys are noticing why I am rolling up all my clothes, is because it fits a lot better into the edges of the bag and it compresses everything down a lot more. It also helps a lot if you use rubber bands. So, I highly recommend some rubber bands if you don't have any. Then we have my massive Patty Pro Instructor Manual booklet, which this right here, it's not really necessary. I can't wait to honestly get rid of this thing. This thing is so huge and so bulky, but I need it for my scuba instructor's class. Inside, you can see I have crammed a ton of stuff in here. Most of the stuff is for my scuba instructor class, but I have a bicycle lock in here. I have a MacBook Air charger, and then I have an iPhone 5 charger inside of here. Can't wait to get rid of it. Then I have a lightweight, black, cheap plastic snorkel here. Goes with my free diving mask. Then on the side over here, I have another pair of board shorts. Right here, I have my GoPro Hero Silver 3 and its respectable charger inside of a Ziploc bag. Go aside. And then I have a t-shirt. Then these right here, these right here guys, these things are super awesome. I absolutely love them. What they are is they're basically a space bag that you can put your clothes in and you can push them all flat. Um, I have used it a couple times now in my travels and they do make your clothes wrinkle a little bit. So keep that in mind if you guys do decide to use these. What I really like about them is, is that they're plastic and then they seal and then they have this great little piece right here that you can actually slide this over and then you can suck the air out of the bag by rolling the bag up. I really like them for using them for wet clothes or dirty laundry. Lightweight, highly recommend them. Those were our two dirty laundry bags and our wet bags. We have a bar of travel deodorant, which is good because I stink. So, might need to get a bigger one of those. <laughs> um, I have a pair of sunglasses right here. Then right here, um, another blogger by the name of the Backpacking Scuba Diver said never to go without one of these. It is a hammock or a travel hammock. I have a double nest hammock, basically. It fits two people, but it's really nice for one person. Um, it's lightweight, it only weighs about a pound. Don't travel without one of these, he says, so I got one. Um, next, in the back of my bag down here, I have another shirt. 
put that there. I have a pair of board shorts that is all rubber banded up to save space. And then inside of here, I have a plastic bag, and inside of that, I have a travel size sunscreen. Um, and that looks like for everything on the bottom of the bag. And then up here, you can get it out with one hand. And then right here, I have my 2011 MacBook Air inside of here. Um, Mention guys, I have a micro USB charger here, and then right here I have a toothbrush. All right, so now on to the Aries Jetpack BCD. Um, I've went ahead and I've left the weight pouches out and the hip belt because it actually works really well to carry the bag because this bag right here actually goes onto the backside of the BCD bag. Okay, so let's hop right in on it. We have our weight pouches inside of here, which I have. I have this weight pouch here. I have actually stuffed another pair of board shorts in there because I didn't want to put it in my outside bag. Inside our other weight pouch here, I have a rubber weight belt that is used for free diving right here. We'll go ahead and see what's inside our BCD bag. Go ahead and open this up right here. Right here, this is my one-way valve for CPR. I'll probably end up getting rid of this after I take my scuba instructor classes just so I don't have to cart it around everywhere. So we have that. Right here, we have my XL... 32 millimeter wetsuit. It is a full suit. Um, fits really well. I dig it. Inside of the plastic baggie here, I have a pair of Bouchot Marlin lobster diving gloves. I'm really into lobster diving. And on the other side, I have a pair of four millimeter Argos booties. So we'll stick that on top of there. Then right here on the top, I have a, I believe it's a two mil, maybe a three mil. It's a hooded vest I wear it underneath my wetsuit to keep me nice and warm. It goes over the side. Then right here, we have my scuba setup. This thing is incredibly heavy, and I would like to be able to get a little bit less heavy parts. So I have an adapter on here. I have my first stage hooked up. I have an octopus hose right here. It's an Apex. And then my main regulator is an Apex XTX50 regulator. I picked it up used for like 25 bucks. It's cheap. Um, and then my dive computer, I got this nice, big, heavy Cobra Sunto dive computer with a compass on top of it. So that is that. Oh, and then my low pressure inflator hose. Okay, so that is that. On to the BCD itself. I'll have a whole nother video on the Ares Jetpack. BCD here. Grand total of everything I have, I'll run through it real nice and quick. I got a two-person hammock. I got one, two, three pairs of board shorts, one pair of compression shorts. I got a pair of sunglasses, a GoBuddy, GoPro extension pole, GoPro head strap. I got a pair of flip-flops. I got one, two, three shirts. Got a mask, a snorkel, um, a small backpack that can fold up. Got my Patty Pro instructor manual. I have my 2011 MacBook Air. It's charger, iPhone 5 charger. This right here is a bicycle lock. I have some toiletries, toothpaste, mouthwash, and some toothpaste. I have a micro USB charger. I have travel deodorant, two laundry bags. Up here, I have my orange dive float signal. I have a pair of sunscreen, my Aries 42 liter backpack. Over here on the scuba side, I have my uh, 32 millimeter XL wetsuit, one way valve for CPR. I have a pair of scuba gloves and a pair of neoprene booties, a weight belt, a hooded vest, and my whole entire scuba setup. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put everything inside of here right now. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be throwing the rest of the stuff inside my Aries jetpack. So as you can see, 
I have my main pack right here, and then I have my separate pack, which actually attaches on to this first one right here, like so. Here you guys can see my full pack in action. I have my VCD on, I have the weight belt on my side right here, and if I bring it around, you can see my entire pack. I got my sandals on the top, I'm thinking about moving those, and I have my pack on the back. This is my entire pack right here. The only things I would really want to go ahead and change is down on the bottom right here. I would like to move, that's where my hammock's located, I would like to move it just so it looks a little bit more flush with the backpack and TSA won't uh, try to hassle me. But one thing I really like about the bag is that it's actually two separate bags and one of them's your PCD. But besides that, um, is that it looks like one bag because if you guys see, this is my outer bag right here. And my second bag, they look like the same color, so it makes it look all like one bag, which is kind of neat. Alright, so right here, you guys can see my pack and myself wearing it. If you see this bulge right here, it's because of my hammock. I'm going to see if I can reposition that, see if I can get a little bit more of a sleek, form-fitting fit. And my weight pack that's on the side, which are really great because I have my board shorts in here and then I have my weight belt on the other side. Um, I have my flip-flops on the top. And that's my whole entire pack. Oh. And don't forget the long bladed fans.